So what is SIPI? SIPI stands for chemo, immunotherapy, percutaneous injection, a lot of fancy words, but really what it is, is it allows us to deliver something very similar to GTF, where we have genetically targeted fractionated doses of chemotherapy and immunotherapy and integrative agents based on miRNA right into the belly of the cancer. So it starts by first doing a study, essentially a tax study, where we're looking at the artery blood flow into the tumor. And then through interventional radiology, a catheter is used that's like the size of your hair, so a really tiny catheter that's used to deploy the medicine into the tumor and then seal it and come out. And when you do that, the body not only does the tumor usually collapse, hopefully necrosis as we plan it to, but it also stimulates the body's immune system to recognize what that tumor is and cancer cell is and go find it elsewhere in the body. So unlike some other forms of tumor embolization, which is what this is, this stimulates the body's immune system to find the other cancer cells and go after them because as that cancer cell dies, it releases something called an antigen and that antigen then stimulates the immune system to recognize those antigens elsewhere and go seek and destroy. So SIPI is, is it particularly important where we have difficult tumors to treat that have been resistant, uh, particularly important where we've had uh, tumors that have high stromal or very thick barriers where chemo has a hard time getting into. When we give chemotherapy intravenously, about 4 to 5% of that chemo gets to the tumor. Well, guess what? With SIPI, we have 100% delivery right to the tumor, which is critical because now we're not taking guessing games of if it's getting there. We know it's getting there. And, and that's critically important for the patient to have a good response and treatment. In addition to that, SIPI can be done over several treatments, and it can be done, you know, usually with a series of one to four different treatments, spaced apart, a couple weeks apart, and using interventional radiology, and the patient ends with a Band-Aid. So what are some of the potential um, issues that can occur? I think that's important for, for you to know as patients. Well, if you have die off of tumor too quickly, right, you have tumor to necrosis tissue, you always got to be careful of, is there going to be an infection? So that's why we space it out, build the patient's immune system, and we can also use um, IV and other antibiotics to help with um, any particular infection from the die off of tissue. But that's what SIPI is, really in a short discussion. And it's particularly different than other forms of tumor embolization because of that genetic and immunotherapy targeting, which at the end of the day, no matter what you do, the medications you give, natural or integrative or conventional, matter. And you can't give everybody the same thing. So this is why this is very critical. And that explains SIPI um, and gives you a better idea of how that works.